Okay, um, what I'd like to do is show you how to put this into y equals mx plus b form. If you can remember our sorry, slope in intercept form. Slope intercept form, slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. Okay, so when I'm doing this, essentially what I need to do is I need to solve this equation for y. All right, so I want to get my y by itself. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, one way that I'm going to take is I'm going to circle my y. All right, if I want to get my y by myself, I'm going to circle it. What that's going to tell me to do is don't do anything to it. Leave where it's at and then just undo everything that's happening to the variable. So if you look at it, you can see there's a couple things that are happening to it. First, I'm multiplying this y by a negative 3. And this is a positive 6. I'm also adding a positive 6 to it because I can rewrite this as um, 3y plus 6x, right? That's the same thing as that. So I can, I'm really adding a negative, adding a positive 6x. So the first thing you want to do is undo your addition and subtraction to your variable. So I'm going to subtract a 6x. Therefore, I, now I obtain a negative 3y equals 18 minus 6x. All right, because 6x minus 6x is 0. 0 minus 3y, we always know is 0. So we always want to get those to cancel out. Now, we, don't, we want to write this in mx plus b format. Therefore, we want our x term to be in front of our constant. So I have a negative 3y equals negative 6x plus 18, plus since that's a positive 18. Now, I need to get rid of this negative 3. Again, remember, I'm circling this. <clears throat> so now, since I'm multiplying by negative 3, to undo multiplication by negative 3, I'm going to divide by negative 3. And I divide by negative 3 over here as well. Well, a negative 3 divided by negative 3 is going to give me 1 times y equals a negative 6x plus 18 divided by 3. Obviously, 1 times any number is just going to be equal to that number. And then what I can do is, again, I want to see, can we don't, y equals mx plus b form is not a rational equation. I want to see if I can divide that 3 into both of these terms. So 3 goes into negative 6x, y equals a negative 2x, and 3 goes into 16, 18 six times. Now, that is in y equals mx plus b form, I say that negative 2 is my slope. So I can just write slope equals negative 2, and my y-intercept, which is b, is 6. There you go.